All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome back to another video. Today, I'm back in Real Oviedo for the first time in two years since I first came out here and made a video and fell in love with this amazing club. Today is a big game for these boys. It's the playoffs. Now, they won their league, but it's not that simple in the third tier of Spanish football. Winning a league does not guarantee you promotion. They've still got to win this playoff. It's over two legs. This is the first leg. Now, after today's game, we won't know whether they've gone up or not, but we'll have a good indication of how well they've done and how good a chance they've got of going up. So hopefully they can get a home win today we're going to be very happy i'm going to be in there pitch side taking you guys with me the whole way if you're looking forward to seeing how the rail of the boys get on drop a like on the video i can tell you one thing it's already been kicking off there's been flares thrown bottles thrown this is going to be a hell of a game and a hell of an atmosphere let's get in there but first let's take some tips from rail of on how to welcome your players to the stadium before a big game <laughs> Guys, we're pitch side, like I said, we've got our special passes. The game's kicking off in about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm pumped. This place is going to be full. 25,000 people here to see what is effectively a playoff final first leg to get into the second tier of Spanish football. That's like going from League One to the Championship in England. But you can see this club is a lot bigger than League One. They're destined to return to the top and hopefully they're going to start that journey off today. Come on, Oviedo. <laughs> Right, take a look at this. Two years after I last came, the writing I did on the wall is still here, just about. We love Oviedo from at Spencer Owen. Can you see that? That was me two years ago. Still there, baby. Still there. Time for another lesson now. This one is on how to keep your club's board and the fan base connected. This man is called Arturo Ilias, and he's part of the Carso group that owns a majority share in Real Oviedo. Here he is before the game, standing in front of the ultras. Right, it's just gone half time and unfortunately Cadiz have just got a goal. So Oviedo are 1-0 down going into the break. A terrible time to concede the goal. I'm really hoping they can get at least one back in the second half. You can't afford to lose the home leg in a two-legged game, that's a disaster. Lesson number three, always keep the faith. 1-0 down at home with 15 minutes left Real Oviedo turned to a man who's been saving them for years, Diego Severo. This guy lives and breathes Oviedo. In three different stints at the club, he's played 235 league games and scored 139 goals. Make that 140. Bosh.
Well, they pulled it back. They went 1-0 down, they hit the bar, and then Severo, the hero of the club, came off the bench, got the goal, made it 1-0. Unbelievable scenes. And then Cadiz got a red card towards the end of the game as well. It was ridiculous. I thought we were going to go on and win the game 2-1. But we're still alive for the second leg. That's the important thing. We're still going. Come on, boys. Okay guys, that is pretty much it for my time here in Real Oviedo. I really hope we can get a good result against Cadiz next week and get back to the second tier of Spanish football. That would be epic. I've had an amazing time here again. You know, these guys, this city, are incredible. A lot of them have seen that video that I made a few weeks ago asking people to buy shares and they've been saying, Hey Spencer! Sorry about the accent. Hey Spencer! In the street and coming over for photos and stuff. It's been amazing reactions. So thank you to anyone that has kind of come over and said hello. You may remember in that video, I asked you guys to buy shares in the club and I said that I'd choose one of you at random who tweeted me a picture of you with your shares uh, and I'd, I'd give you a shirt, a signed shirt from the club. The club have held up their end of the bargain. They've given me this shirt, lovely Real Oviedo shirt with the signatures of all the players, including Severo, the legend that scored the goal. Huge goal for Oviedo in that match. And uh, this is going to be going to one of you. I've chosen at random. I've got an unbelievable amount of photos sent to me. So many shares bought by you guys. Amazing that you're all on board with the Real Oviedo adventure. So welcome to the club. But the winner is going to be someone called Jack T. Fletcher. Okay, your tweet is on the screen now. Jack, I'm going to be contacting you privately on Twitter, getting your address and sending you this bad boy. Got to say a massive thank you to the club again, Real Oviedo, for sorting me out, giving me access, letting me go on the pitch. You know, no club that I've ever gone to has ever looked after me in the way that Real Oviedo have, and that's why I love it so much. Also, shout out to this hotel, the Air Hotel, because I came back to my room today. Not only had they given me this beautiful little Oviedo banner thingy, they'd also left me a bottle of champagne, loads of biscuits, just because they liked the fact that I made videos about Real Oviedo. This is why I love this town. So if you're ever going to come to northern Spain, the region of Asturias, come and watch a Real Oviedo game. Tell them Spencer sent you, and I guarantee you'll have a good time. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and if you've uh, enjoyed watching the Real Oviedo experience that I've had. I'll see you next time. But until then, don't go changing.